and chocolate covered strawberries. That's not easy. Got it all over the place now. You have bad form. Yep. My turn. Words disappear. Words want so clear. That looks really good. Chocolate. So what are we doing? Strawberries and pretzels. And pretzels and puppy chow. Uh, puppy chow. Yeah, I don't really know what that is, but we're gonna we're gonna learn. How chef Megan? Me? Yeah. That's you. That's me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That looks damn good. It's coming up on two o'clock. Um, spent most of the day with Megan making Christmas stuff today. Um, we did a bunch of chocolate covered strawberries, which I filmed. We did the chocolate covered pretzels, and then we did this thing called puppy chow. Got these two big bags. They are rice, or not rice crispy, they're um, checks. It's back there, Czech cereal, and some sort of sugar, and uh, melted chocolate, and it's actually really good. I had never made or seen that before. Um, did that, spent some time here, had um, um, Jersey Mike's for dinner, went to Kenan's house tonight. I forgot my camera, unfortunately, but checked out all his mom's decorations at the house. Uh, looked at the train set in the basement. We're gonna try to get back into there It's actually been several years since we've done anything and it's in a desperate need of some electrical attention and uh, Some engineering and a cleanup to get everything running again. So we're gonna do that here in the upcoming weeks uh, My voltmeter Arrived today, and I've been playing with that I actually really like it. It's really easy to use. It is the x tech ex 330 It's in this rubberized kind of drop proof esque case and it's a auto ranging uh, multimeter, which is really nice. You don't have to keep screwing around with the ranges to try to um, get it in the right setting. So we got your volts, AC, DC, Hertz, and then it actually does temperature too, Fahrenheit and Celsius. And it came with a separate temperature probe that plugs into the positive and negative and is really responsive and accurate. So that's neat. I don't know how usable and practical that is, but it's there. Then we've got some sort of ohms. I don't know what UA means, MA, and then we got a 10 amp. I don't really know how to use all that crap. I just want to test batteries and uh, voltage at an outlet and stuff like that. And it's got the um, near current voltage, I think that's what it stands for. So you press that, gives you a little light and a noise to show that it's working, and then you can test if there's voltage somewhere by putting it close to it, and then it lights and makes noise when it's in the presence of electrical current. So um, I would have to get up there to the ceiling or the wire here to test that there's power there. So that's very useful if you're installing a light fixture or working with electronics and you want to see if there's um, hot power at the source where you're working. So good little toy. It's less than 50 bucks and really well reviewed online. Sweet. Um, that is pretty much it. I'm going to go to bed. And uh, what do we got? Tomorrow's Friday. I've got a little bit of last minute Christmas shopping to do. And got to buy some wrapping paper. And I think that's it. So I will talk to you guys then. Hope you're having a good week so far. Good night.